Hello everyone, uh, today we're gonna see how to configure Amazon S3 storage uh, in the cloud in Backup Stack 15 thanks to the new cloud connectors that allow now to use uh, as storage destination for Backup Stack uh, storage in the cloud. So first of all we go here to the Amazon Web Services web page we need to create uh, an Amazon account first of all so we go to S3, S3 is the um, storage, cloud storage for Amazon and the first thing we have to do is create a, a bucket, bucket is a logical division of this storage for Amazon so we click here create bucket, we set any bucket name for example Veritas, we select the, regi the region and then click on create if the name already exists we need to, to select an, a different name in this case that was an existing name okay so it's already created we have here all buckets uh, our new Veritas bucket so it's done now the only thing we need to do is, is, is create a, a user that is able to access this, this bucket because we will use that user later on in Backup Stack for, for that configuration. So we go back to all the services, we, we go to IAM, the Identity and Access Manager. So here we go to Users and we create new user. Okay, we put any, any name, for example Veritas in this case. And that's it, we have our access key ID and our password, we will use that later on to configure our backup second storage device. For now, we close it here, we edit this user, go to permissions and attach policy. So what we want here is give the permissions for uh, this user to access the S3 storage. So from all the policies, we have to look for the one that says S3, full access, so we can read and write on that storage device, attach policy, and it's done. Okay, so that's it. We don't need to do anything else in, in, in Amazon. So we go back to Backup Sec, to the storage tab, and here is where we're gonna, go, gonna configure our new storage destination in the cloud. So for that we go to configure storage, we select network storage, we select cloud storage, we set any name we want here, uh, and a description for this destination, we click next, S3 is the connector we're going to use in this case. Uh, server name in this case is always going to be uh, Amazon, Amazon.com. And we add a new account. We don't have an account yet created, so we create a new one. We click on add. And here is where we're going to use the username and password we saw before. So here we have our access key ID. This is the one we put in username and the security access key is the one that we will use in the in the password section so account name we can put any friendly name we want we click ok we select that account and we click on next so now we see all the buckets that are configured and accessible with that account. So in this case, we just have one bucket, the one we created before, we select one, that one and click next. Number of concurrent operation, next. We leave it as default. We just review the configuration and click on next. And that should be enough to, to configure your storage in the cloud in Amazon. And you just need to reboot the services and that's it. So you will have your storage created and available to use. Uh, you can use it as a destination like any other device. 
Okay, thanks for watching.